Hey YouTube, I'm making this video. Um, I've had this 16 foot box trailer, I would say now for about 10 years, and uh, it's about 11 or 12 years old. But ever since I bought it, it had always leaked on the top. It always leaked inside. Um, I replaced the floors and, uh, and it leaked. And um, the first thing I did years and years ago is I scraped all this. There's like this gray stuff that they put on there. It's almost like a caulk and they just run it all along the seams. Well, that's where it was leaking from in somewhere in the seal in the, in the, uh, in the cracks here where these pieces come together. Um, well, I scraped all that out. It took me all day, and I resealed it with the the roof sealer. Um, I bought a bunch of tubes of that, and um, I resealed it. And within, I don't know, probably within weeks, it was leaking again. Um, sorry about the chickens. Um, so I bought into the flex seal. I had gone out and I had bought. A couple cans of uh, flex seal clear and uh, probably five or six cans and I sprayed right over the top of my my caulking and uh, that didn't even that didn't help I mean I, I really coated on there good and it, it, it leaked immediately so um, I'm a general contractor and I was just recently doing a masonry shower and I use this it looks green when it comes out of the the can it's blue it's a uh, rubberized waterproof membrane um, it's for sealing showers and whatnot um, and backer board and everything that's going to be underneath tile in like a shower or a, uh, a bathtub anything that's going to have standing water or just constant exposure to the water this waterproofs it so I was getting to thinking maybe I can just waterproof the top with that and uh, I did that and I'm down here in South Carolina we've had some torrential rains for the past week or so and uh, this is the only thing that's ever worked um, it's completely dry inside the trailer um, it doesn't look the best but unless you're in a helicopter you're not gonna see it from the ground you can't see it um, but I'll show you the product that I used You can get this at Lowe's. It's made by Maypie. It's called uh, May Plastic Aqua Defense. And here's a description of it. Um, but I just used a uh, just a regular brush, and I went up there on the roof um, on a ladder. And I just brushed it right over the seams. I didn't clean nothing. I didn't do nothing. I just brushed it on there. Um, I went back around and I did two coats. After about an hour, it was dry. So I went back around and I did two coats. And um, with all the rain that we've had, there's not a, not a drop of water inside my trailer. And uh, this is the third time redoing the roof, resealing it. And this is the only thing that's ever worked. So... I'm not sure how long it'll work up there, um, but I bought this three and a half gallon tub that I use when I do showers, and uh, and it works underneath uh, masonry and tile, and it's made for showers, which are meant to last a long time. So I can't foresee it uh, breaking down anytime soon, and if it does, I'll just I'll just recoat it. You know, if I got to do it in a year or so, uh, what's the difference? But um, I know a lot of people probably have problems with their trailers and they just, uh, after a couple years, they just start leaking and it's hard to, to really get them um, fixed cheaply. But this thing, this tub, I think is about 48 bucks it's for three and a half gallons. Um, you can buy smaller ones, but, and then uh, you just get a cheap three inch brush and just brush it on there. And, uh, and it worked great. So, hopefully this helps you. You know, it's a, I got a Ringo trailer. I think it's a, I think it's a 2008 or 2009, but you can't see it from the ground.
and we've had a ton of rain and there's stains in here from uh, from the various things that I use but it's dry can't believe it I've been using that stuff for years and uh, no leaks you see my front yard is puddled up we just I've been having a tre tremendous amount of rain um, but anyway hope this helps please subscribe thank you